There's so much to do this week. Welcome back. I am just getting ready for the day. I'm mostly gonna be like editing and packaging orders and you know, like small stuff. Um, I'm also gonna be decorating my notebook because I got a lot of good goodies. So I'm excited to use all of them. I have a lot planned this week and I hope that I can get to all of them. I have a lot of really cute ideas for new merch that I've been thinking up. So this week I'm gonna focus on trying to draw out everything and then in the future get everything printed and produced and cut and whatnot. But my focus for the shop update is gonna be new sticker sheets because I got these Procreate brushes that are really fun to use. They're like risograph inspired. So there's a lot of like texture and um, layering to it that makes it really fun. And I thought it would go really well with like planner stickers. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started on that. It's gonna be a really busy week. Ooh. 
So the Swedish company called Studio contacted me and they sent me over these really cute pair of earphones. I was really looking forward to this package mostly because I heard a lot of good things about these earphones. Whoa! Oh, super cute. They sent over this really cute blue color and wow, I am in love. I'm really excited to use these and it came in perfect time because I am in the middle of editing. Also, I just like how the charging port looks like a face. Oh, pairing. What did you eat? What did you eat? Eat your dinner. I ate some corn dogs. I ate two corn dogs. You should eat. I didn't have a, I didn't eat anything until the corn dogs today. So I've been on TikTok a lot and I saw this one recipe that I wanted to do. So I'm going to try it now. <laughs> It's like little chunks and bits of egg instead of like a smooth pasta sauce. But overall, it still tastes pretty good. I have been eating the healthiest. I've been. Hello! I am dressed like a mom today, but I'm totally feeling it. This is a really comfy top. It makes me feel like a bat. I just got done with my work hours and had dinner. So I didn't really have much to film today, but it's time for mail. So I got a few packages here. There have been a few that I've been waiting for for quite some time. So I'm really excited. This is a friend of mine on Instagram. Her name is Sarah. She goes by Avocado on Instagram. She even drew Mr. Bear, my little bear character. This is so cute! Ooh. Wow! Oh my, oh my god! Look at these guys! Wow! I love how derpy and cute they are. Like, this is my mood right now. I am just a sour lemon. It's very cute. She included a few more stickers. This is like her logo guy. Wow, her sticker qualities are really nice too. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> wow. All of these are just incredibly cute and an incredible quality. Thank you, Sarah. She included this little flower pin. It's so pretty. It's like has this like glittery shine to it too. And then my favorite thing are these earrings. Also, I just watched my other friend Paloma's video and I noticed that she got the same earrings. So now I guess we're twinning. Hi, Paloma. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm already wearing earrings and dumb. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. What I really like about these is that they're very lightweight. So it like, it doesn't weigh down or anything. It's perfect. I'm in love. <laughs> I 
I really love these earrings. I think I'm gonna wear them all day. <laughs> I think I'm like re-energized from just looking at cute art. <laughs> So the next package I have is from another new friend on Instagram, Baohan Fresh. She's got a washi tape that decorates everything. So cute. Ooh. Oh. She wrote a little note. I'm not gonna show most of it, but I love how the stationery looks. Whoa. These stickers are so sparkly and glittery. So lovely. Awesome. And then, wow, I really love her card. There's like a luster effect to it. I don't know if the camera will catch it really well, but it's really nice in person. Also, I love Fishman. <laughs> Super cute. And then here's the back with her info. I'll leave everyone's info in the description below. And then there's a little packet. This is a really cute stamp. <laughs> so sweet. She included a lot of different washi samples and I think they're mostly Animal Crossing themed. Super cute. I think I really love this one here. This is like everything that I love. Wow. <laughs> and then she's got a cute sticker of Timmy and Tommy. They're so happy. I really love their outfits of like the very beginning of the game. I kind of wish they kept more of it. So, oh my gosh, she made a sticker of it. <laughs> Something more scandalous. Ooh, do I love some scandalous Pikachu. <laughs> and then the last of the mail from People is one from Peach Fawn Press. This came out of nowhere, so they found me through Etsy. <laughs> so hello. She sent over some really cute stickers. I really love these sticker sheets. This is the type of gloss waterproof, I think, that I used to use as well. It kind of has this like candy gloss finish to it, which I think is like perfect for these sparkly fruity drinks. Wow. And I just wanted to show the business card that she included, mostly because one, it's a really cute illustration, and two, she says on the back that these guys are recycled paper with wildflower seeds in it. So what you could do with these is just plant it in the dirt and there should be wildflowers in a few weeks. So that's really cool. Super cute. I need to see how the gloss looks, but overall right now, the quality is just so nice as always. I think this one is definitely my favorite out of the three of them. Oh. Super cute. So I made the honey part a lower opacity in the file. So hopefully it'll come out as like more of a transparent layer. Last one. Yes. This one's kind of a chonker. Wow. I need to put this somewhere to test out the clearness of it. But I don't really know where to put it besides my journal oh that looks cute already <laughs> oh my gosh even the back is cute <gasps> that's so nice oh wow i love that they're really nice like thick clear too oh my god whoa So this is more of like a cream colored paper and that kind of shows through in both stickers, which is kind of nice. It warms up both the sticker colors. Wow. I really like how it looks in real life, mostly because it's like a, the glossiness really adds to the quality of the sticker. Oh yes. Yes. So the only small thing that I've noticed so far is that the less opaque areas, like the water and the honey, kind of have these like small air bubble-y things to it compared to like the full opacity colors. I don't know how I feel fully about that just yet. It kind of gives it more of like a textural look, 
but it's kind of interesting to see the difference between low opacity versus high opacity. <laughs> it's so cute, I love it! Good morning! It is almost 10, it's almost time to get to work. But before that, I'm just kind of enjoying my breakfast and I also wanted to do some plant propagations. This guy is trailing quite nicely. busy during the day so there's no filming going on just because I was just working my day job and then packing orders afterwards. But now it's 1am and I just finished wrapping up my last vlog. I'm going to be uploading it tonight and then I'll be up in the morning and I'm just contemplating what to do right now. <laughs> I want to get more done today, but I've already finished a lot. I think I've accomplished a big hurdle for my day, but um, <laughs> this K-pop star, Somi, she has a music video coming out at 2 a.m. and I'm like, should I just stay up another hour to listen to it? There is one thing that I want to get to and I think It'd be a good use of my time right now. I have a dear friend on Instagram, Jisoo. She goes by Jisoopy. She wanted to do a trade, so I wanted to include some good goodies for her. And this time around for a trade, I wanted to try doing like a more special illustration. I haven't like painted or drawn anything traditionally in quite some time, so I thought this would be a good time to try again. Also, I just wanted to show off my outfit for today. It's real cute. This is a shirt from my mom. I think it's like a nice satin. I really like the details of the florals. A lot of this outfit today is literally like just pattern on pattern on pattern. And like I said yesterday, I am rocking these earrings.
so far and I am tired so I'm gonna do this later. Also, it's 2 a.m. Is it gonna start? <gasps> oh my god, I have to wait. <gasps> Oh, I love it already. Hi, hi. I just finished up my little drawing. I think it turned out really cute. Although I do feel like I put a little bit too much into it like sometimes I think simplicity is better especially for design but what matters is that it's cute and I hope she likes it I'm also really loving my outfit today <laughs> this is another dress from my mom I've been wearing a lot of my mom's old clothes because we've been cleaning out the garage and finding a lot of her old vintage clothing it's like this super long dress but in the future, I want to try to thrift flip it so that it's kind of like a more modern cut and neckline like the very square with kind of like spaghetti strap in a way except I don't really know my way around a sewing machine even though I took a fashion class specifically for sewing in high school and I made two dresses and I never learned much after that. <laughs> I know that absolutely no one is asking, but I just wanted to show off the dress that I made in high school. There's another dress, but the theme of that year was like recycled materials. But for some reason, sophomore year me thought that a good motif to go off of was just plastic on top of fabric and it looks terrible, but junior year me really redeemed it. The theme of this dress was like fairy tale, I think, or like fantasy. And I kind of went with like a nymph theme. There's like these really nice sleeves on the side, and then the nice detail about this were these like fairy wings in a way. I really love the fabric that I picked out, and this is like everything that I love about cottage core. So it still holds up today. The only sad thing about this is that I can't fit this anymore because this is probably a size zero and my waist has grown. <laughs> but anyways, the reason why I kind of want to bring up this dress was because I feel really cute today and also I posted this on Instagram the other day and I noticed that a lot of people liked it. I was thinking that since I'm reaching 20k soon on Instagram, I'm gonna do a draw this in your style challenge and I wanted to do something inspired by this look. I've already gone ahead and kind of jotted down some notes of what I wanted. So this is the very preliminary sketch of what I'm going to do. So this is like the very rough idea of the thing. I also don't think I'm going to be reaching 20k too soon. So I think I'll save this for later, but draw it now because I really want to draw it. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it a secret until next week. I've gone ahead and took a lot of photos of this guy mostly because I want to post it myself and also because I want a memory of this piece and I get to show you the behind the scenes of how I make Instagram posts. I literally just take whatever I'm photographing and go around the room to my various plants and put it in front of my plants. <laughs> but yeah, that's my weird process.
my lunch break, I did something for my friends. Draw this in your style. Tiff had her own draw this in her style for 50k followers on Instagram. Congrats, Tiff! So I did my version. I thought it came out pretty cute. I've been trying out these like new Risograph uh, brushes and they're pretty fun to play with. There's like a lot more texture involved. So this feels like different from what I'm doing right now, but I'm totally accepting it. But anyways, oh god, oh, I think I have a tension headache. Oh, today's not my day. Well, anyways, it's the end of the workday, and now I'm gonna get started on these sticker sheets that I wanted to do for like two weeks now. This is what I have so far. I'm working with the Riso brushes as well on this one. I'm gonna get these done tonight. And then I'll start to cut them tomorrow. Oh yeah. I thought you had a double color. You told me that and I forgot. 